the assistive device that we'll be using here is a tennis ball. The recreational activity that we'll be doing is painting. This device can be used with stroke patients or people that have arthritis. As you can see, in order to create this device, which is homemade, you'll have to have a sharp object or knife that allows you to cut into the tennis ball by doing a little X on the top and bottom. This will secure the paintbrush when you're painting your artwork by now allowing it to fall out or being too loose. After you have done the X's on the top and bottom, you'll insert the paintbrush and it's up to you on how high and how low you want the tennis ball to be on your brush. It also depends, depending on your brush um, its length, if it's big or small, you'll have to decide. As you can see, the individual is grasping onto the tennis ball and we'll be demoing how he or she will be painting. In the first example that's being shown, the individual needs assisting on moving around the artwork. The therapist or caregiver can assist by holding onto their hand while they're grasping onto the tennis ball. This will allow for participation and the communication to the therapist on how they want the paint to be shown. As you can see, the individual can be communicating if they wanted to go up high or down low. The second example is kind of like a freestyle. The caregiver or therapist will be moving the artwork around. In this case, it's the paper and the participant will be holding on to the tennis ball. This will allow the participant to color in with the paint and allowing them to participate while having an enjoyable experience of painting. These two examples have shown that they can enhance participation and are very manageable to use. It improves by motor skills, retain of sensory motor skills, which is tactile of the ball and coordination.